Do I look at you? Um. Or yeah. Look at look at me. Okay. Look at me. Um. Okay. So talk. 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 Talk about what? Um. Tell me your name. And are you nervous? Are you excited? Okay. Yeah. Um. Hi. Wanna say hi? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Hey. My name is Nora Hopkins, and I'm feeling kind of. I actually have a hard time identifying my feelings, like in the moment. Sometimes it's like years later that I'm like, oh, I was angry. <laughs> At, right now, I'm feeling, um, I'm not nervous, no, not excited. Oh, I'm a little bit hungry. There is a certain type of emptiness that happens after you've like been filmed, I feel like. What's up, penguins? Hi. Hi. Hey. How are you? Good. Did you notice I called you penguins? I did, I liked it. Mm -hmm. Is that a new thing or? I'm trying to find more gender neutral greetings. Okay. Yeah. I think we say guys too much, right? Hey Guilty. guys. Yeah. What's up guys? Yeah. What do you want to do tonight, guys? Hey guys. Right, right. Hey penguin. Hey cockatoo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're gonna start it now. Okay. So come on in. It's a hot, hot crowd. You guys can come too. See come you on. later. Bye. Okay, happen. I like cockatoo. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah. Cockatoo will do. Which is like better, cockatoo or penguin? Oh, it's like Sophie's choice. I think I like cockatoo, it's nice. I like cockatoo, I like penguin. Uh-huh. I like... Penguins mate for life. They do? Is that real? Either that or they're gay, I forget which one. So I got my start on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I'm really proud of my work there. Uh, you might have seen me on um, Bronx Zoo Monkey imitates girl with allergies. <laughs> Uh, anyone else here depressed? <laughs> Try being depressed on a trampoline. <laughs> I feel like you're getting right up on my teeth here and my mother's gonna say, why do we pay for all those braces? <laughs> you think your mother's gonna watch this? So at my age, when I get a new birthmark, it's gotta be cancer, <laughs> right? It's cancer disease. So anyways, I'm old. I'm a very old woman. And my body is just starting to really crepe up like the dessert. Just like real wrinkly, like a crepe. Yes. And you know what? Humans, humans, they don't appreciate crepes. They don't appreciate the skin. But you know who does? Turtles. Turtles. <laughs> yeah, turtles. Because they got that skin, right? They got that crepey skin. Yeah. It's... It's all wrinkly. So the other day I was walking down the street and I saw, I saw a turtle, right? <laughs> uh, she was owning it. She was owning her skin. I hear you in the back, you like it. <laughs> all right. So I'm old, but I like to fuck, right? <laughs> you can tell. So I take off my grandma sweater. Oh, TJ Maxx, I take it off. I'm a sexy grandma. She's asleep. This one right here is asleep. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Have you ever done a rebirthing? Not that I know of. Oh, you should think about doing it. Who goes on dates? Anyone? Am I the only one? Jesus! This is gonna be an awkward story to tell. What is that? Is it like a vaginal rejuvenation? No, but you should think about doing that, too. I think I'm good there. Nothing ever goes in there, so I should be good. All right, cut. Yeah, I just, I never met an animal that had anything interesting to say. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the stage right now, your headliner, Nora Good to be out of my room. I uh, spend a lot of time indoors these days, just straddling that fine line between tweezing and self-harm. <laughs> so I, um... So I, I've been wishing lately that I could outdoor here. Hey, Missy, it's me again. Um, I'm just calling because uh, I was thinking about you and, um, also wondering if you're going to be able to make it tomorrow. Uh, I really, I really hope you can come. Uh, I don't, I don't want to do this by myself. <laughs> I was hoping you could uh, 
give me away. So um, anyway, give me a call back when you get a chance. Uh, NBD, you know, no big deal. Actually, it, it is kind of a big deal. So if you could, you, you know, if you could call me back and let me know either way, BD, uh, BD, that would be really great. Um, okay, anyway, I, I guess I'll... Uh, Hey, Mitch! <laughs> Hi! Hi! How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Oh, you know, I had a drink. Yeah, I see that. You look like Bambi, trying to learn how to walk for the first time. <laughs> oh, you're so dear to me. That get it? <laughs> yeah, I get it. Oh, I just feel so warm and good, you know? That's real, that's awesome. Like, butter melting, you know? You just, like, let go of all the stupid things that are stressing you out and just feel good in, in the moment. Yeah. I've been told that I have a funny sneeze, and, you know, that's not, like, exactly amazing comedy, but it's like, these days, we'll take a laugh where we can get it, right? So. Um, I have a funny sneeze, and uh, what do you say to somebody when they say to you, you have a funny sneeze, like, hey, right back at you? <laughs> it's like a little word joke. <laughs> but um, I, uh, yeah, so, okay, so here's my impression of myself with this famous funny sneeze of mine. Um, yeah, no, I actually don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't feel like doing that, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, it's one of those times for me where, like, I... Do you ever get this way where everything is too much of an effort? I mean, I can... I brush just the front of my hair, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <sighs> Look at all these street lights. Isn't it just, like, gorgeous out here? <sighs> Something to confess to you. Oh. What? So earlier for lunch, I had sausage with peppers and onions and, like, I'm worried my breath smells terrible right now. Let me smell. Oh. I mean, <laughs> it, it does It does smell like, like sausage, but it's not bad. I know, okay. You know, one time I ate a dog biscuit, and it wasn't even by accident. I just ate it because it was there. A dog biscuit, ladies and gentlemen, a dog biscuit. You can probably tell I'm not from here. I'm, I'm Texan. No, just kidding. Um, I'm Irish. I'm an immigrant. So not, a long, not around for much longer. <laughs> well, we'll see. I mean, I'm one of the white ones, so um, I'm OK for the time being. I've been canceling a lot of plans because of Syria. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Thank you. Let's, <sighs> let's go back to my place. Oh, I, I mean, I can't, it's... Why not? I, I'm, I'm with Brian, you know. Uh, oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Ew, I know. <laughs> I can't, I mean... Come on, I, you just kissed me. I know, I'm sorry. I, you know, I'm totally... Sorry, I'm really? really? No, I'm so attracted to you, and I just got a little carried away. It's weird, it's just confusing, you know? I really like you. Just another straight girl. Oh, come on. It's not like that. I'm not. It's. Yeah, I, yeah. I it is care like about that. you. Okay. Come on, right. what are you doing? Well, what are you doing? Gonna... No, come on, Mick. Bye, straight girl, thanks! It's like we're on a spectrum. <laughs> but I mean, it's just really hard to focus on doing comedy when it's like. There's all these old men in Washington, D.C. deciding what's going to happen to women's bodies, and they're actually senile. Like, it's not like, you know, oh, I disagree with them. It's like, no, those are senile old men. They should just be in a wicker wheelchair rocking on their plantations or wherever the fuck they came from. 
Um, but instead, they're deciding what's going to happen to us. So, ha ah. <laughs> um, Yeah, I think that... Uh, um, so dating, da yeah, so let's talk, let's do some dating stuff. Dating doesn't matter. <laughs> and what else happens? So, yeah, it's a lot of, lot, the Nazis are back. <laughs> so there's bigger things to worry about. It doesn't really, um, yeah, so I don't mean to get all like, um, you know, like nothing matters, but does, is there anything? Is there anything? You guys think of anything? Um, yeah, I mean, okay, this is an interesting exploration, sort of self-absorbed about like the thin line between comedy and tragedy. Sorry to take up your time. <laughs> and uh, good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Nora. Nora. Nora, Nora, Nora. What? Where are you going? I'm leaving. I have to get out of here. Why? I told you that I wasn't into it, and now look what happens. We're going to stay. We're going to have some drinks. Why? Talk about friends. We're going to have drinks and mingle. Yeah. Did you see what happened in there? They, you killed. They laughed so hard. You were hilarious. No, I did not kill. No, I certainly didn't bomb as hard as you just bombed and humiliated yourself in there, but I didn't kill. Wow, wow. OK. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you bombed. Yeah. But you know what? I did this for you. I did this for us. You did what? Created an epic silence in a shitty Brooklyn bar in the middle of the night. For me, how is that helpful to me? I did it for you because you said that your profile needs to be bumped up or you're gonna lose your visa. I don't even know if I want to stay in this country. No offense, but it's a disaster and what you're doing is really inadequate yeah. at best. Inadequate. Yeah, it's pathetic. All right, fine. Sorry that the things I'm trying to help both of us do are too pathetic for you. You're doing sexy grandma while there's white supremacists in the White House. Congratulations. Yeah, Nora, I know there's white supremacists in the White House. You don't have to tell me that. Fucking idiot.